everybody. I'm Zach, and it's time we busted a myth about piston rings and their rotation. Let's check in with our cat reman expert for the details. Take it away, Bo. Thanks, Zach. If you're a dealer, shop mechanic, or technician, you might think piston rings don't rotate while the engine is running, but they do. During operation, piston rings revolve around the cylinder one to two times per minute. Now, first things first, every piston ring has a gap. These openings are designed to regulate oil consumption and limit deposits and blow-by. When you open up an engine, it's possible to see the ring gaps all lined up on one cylinder, but that's nothing to worry about because the rings will continue to rotate once you start the engine again. As the rings rotate, their gaps allow the rings and liner to break in smoothly while maintaining a good seal. In short, this design helps keep carbon particles, or packing, from clogging the gaps and stopping the rings in place, which is good because carbon packing could lead to accelerated wear, excess oil consumption, and high blow-by. That's why, during assembly, each ring is positioned so that their openings are 120 degrees apart from each other. This placement helps break the rings in so they function properly. But why might you find piston rings aligned if there's no carbon packing visible? Well, as I said before, the piston ring always rotates around the cylinders while the engine is running. During high idle, the rings rotate at their fastest speed. At low idle, the rings slow down and are more likely to line up with each other. Since you're turning off the engine at low idle, there's a chance the piston rings could land in the same position. So remember, if there's no carbon packing, your piston rings are fine, regardless of their position. Back to you, Zach. Thanks, Bo. If you have more questions about piston rings or other cat engine parts, contact your local authorized cat dealer or visit cat.com slash reman. We'll see you next time.